Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of the bedroom security system. And today we're going to install the main unit within the room and wire everything up. So let's get started. Alright, so these are the two wires that are coming from the door, or in other words, the door sensor. Now what we need to do first is we're going to take this black cable. Uh, you know, it doesn't look of course, it doesn't have to be a 121, it's just some extra wire I have so we can uh, get this managed here. Uh, so we're just going to simply wire uh, this wire up to this door sensor wire, because you'll see why in a minute. and connect the two pairs of wires together just by simply twisting them together. Uh, I don't have any uh, wire caps on hand but I highly recommend you use them because uh, they will prevent uh, short circuits and uh, well especially they'll also protect the connectors. But of course you don't have to use the wire caps you know just make sure that they're kind of separated use some tape. So let's just run this cable along this wall here. Okay so here's the other end of the Table. Now, uh, this is where my uh, rug goes, and I mean, this is my rug, and uh, then on, right on the other side over there is my window with the pre installed uh, rain sensor. So, basically, what we need to do is we just need to make sure this is in the proper position and run this underneath the rug. Sort of, you know, just to, of course, in the end, we have, we're going to have to make sure that you know, most of it is hidden as, as good as possible because, you know, you don't want a bunch of wires to show. And that way, if you have, uh, you know, as few uh, wires showing as possible, then it, it'll be hard for anybody to tell if there's actually an alarm system until it's too late for the person. So let's just uh, run this over here over to the window. Now this is how the pressure pad works. So basically you got two pieces of cardboard. Uh, maybe I should open it up so it would be easier to see. You can see the two output wires there. Now this is how it works. Now look closely. You can see inside that there are two pieces of aluminum foil and these wires you can if you, you can see how the two wires are connected to the pieces of aluminum foil well basically what you have is you have some pieces of foam so what happens is these two pieces of cardboard with the aluminum foil plates on there are are sandwiched together so when some this is going to be hidden underneath the rug like this so when someone steps on the rug and the point of it is for them to be completely unaware that they stepped on a, uh, on a triggered pressure pad but what they do is they step on it then it presses these two pieces of aluminum foil the two plates together and it closes the circuit and you can see the two wires that will uh, eventually connect to the system so that's how that works and of course obviously the foam the pieces of foam repel the top plate back up when uh, someone releases the pressure. Basically how the rain sensor works is, so you have two segments of aluminum foil. Now if you look closely, uh, no, th just remember that, you know, this, this right here, this right here, this right here, all this, these two segments of aluminum foil, which uh, two wires are connected to both sides, they're both physically disconnected right now. So if you look closely, you'll notice that if rain or water falls between like right here or right here or between anywhere on the anywhere on this white here uh, between the two segments of foil it will c make a path it will connect these uh, two piece, uh, segments of aluminum foil together completing the circuit you can see obviously the two pieces of uh, conductive wire there so yeah that's how it works uh, now of course it's not going to make a full connection you know it's it, I mean it's water is resistant it acts like a resistor so that's why we built that little transistor circuit for the rain sensor because it just takes a small amount of voltage due to the fact that this is going to be a smaller amount of voltage due to the fact that it's going to be acting like a resistor like I just said and it takes that small amount of uh, electricity and puts it into the transistor the middle pin of the transistor the NPN transistor and then it uh, just that small amount of voltage activates the transistor which activates the buzzer 
So basically, you know, in my uh, in my window, it just fits kind of like that. And I kind of had to adjust it. You know, it actually, I mean, this is just a milk milk carton uh, material. So you know, I this is kind of kind of flimsy. So I just had to you know put some rubber bands on it with the cardboard backing. But you know, it works actually pretty well. Um, so it just sticks in the window like that. You can see these two pieces of wire. Now I had to use a thinner wire, not this wire, going through. See, it goes through here. So when you close the window, then the wire goes through and inside. Of course, obviously, these two pieces of wire are too big, too thick to fit through the uh, window when it's closed. So I just had to use this thinner wire. Anyways, that's uh, that. It actually works very well. It just goes like that. Close the window, and there you go. You can lock it, and then boom, right there. You, you know, you, it'll rain, and then it'll uh, it should work. So here are the two pieces of wire. And uh, we just need to connect this to our circuit. So let's finish wiring everything up. Now, we're going to be using this little plastic container I had as a junction box to join all the wires from all the sensors. For example, like the rain sensor, the door sensor, and the pressure sensor all together. And uh, it'll all be joined up with that one white cable that obviously goes to the main unit. So we we'll just need to drill a, a fair size hole in here so we can uh, just simply put the wires into and all the connections will just be uh, all safe in this little container. Well, okay, maybe it 
might be long enough, but you know, I kind of want it to be more in that corner. So I'm just basically just going to add a little bit more wire. It's a little bit too long, but I hate to uh, cut it because I might reuse it someday. So, you know, I'm just going to extend it so it's kind of, it's supposed to be kind of more in that corner so it's not in the way uh, of, of me and everybody. Okay, so now the wire is successfully connected. We'll just twist these together to keep it intact. There we go. Now we just need to get our junction box ready and we need to bring over the white cable and decide where we need to put the main control unit. <sighs> Alright, so all we gotta do now is just make the final connections. So we will connect the door wires on our white cable to the door connection here. The pressure pad wires to the pressure uh, connection and we will connect the obviously the rain sensor to the uh, rain wires. So let's get all that connected. Alright, so we have successfully connected all the sensors to the main white cable going to the main control unit. And as you can see, it's within the junction box. Now all we gotta do is just place all these wire connections inside the junction box and close it up. Now in this case, since I don't have any wire caps or insulating tape, I had to make sure that you know all the wire connections are separated so nothing gets accidentally bypassed, so obviously the alarm is accurate. So let's just close this up. Now everything is successfully wired up, now we just gotta choose a location for our main control unit. Alright, so we'll just move the main control unit right over here so it's concealed and out of the way, and run the cable along the wall. Alright, so I just ran the wire right over here to this corner and wrapped it up. Now we're just going to secure it with some zip ties. That way everything is nice and compact and mostly concealed and it looks, looks much better that way. Now we just got to test the system. For some really funny reason, when I ever, whenever I drop the buzzer, now watch this LED really carefully. I'll try it again. It actually didn't. See? Look at that. It flashes like very dimly or pretty dimly and it's it just like for a split second But like why would that do that? That's really funny. Why why just dropping the buzzer generates that amount of uh, Current to, to light up the LED there bit of a loose wire problem here it appears that I, uh, I turned it on but it seems to just be beeping with when nothing is when the door is closed and nothing is being else is being activated so I guess it's, one small problem or issue, I should say, that we need to fix up before we really test it. Uh huh. Door sensor wires. Alright, so the actual problem is the, the relay. Now, the, what happened is the relay... Now, actually, I had this problem before, but what happened is the relay just kind of pops itself out of the socket. So, basically, what I did is I just put a rubber band on it, uh, on the under, underside through the underside of the breadboard just to keep it securely down and plugged in and it, it won't pop out. Alright, so everything is successfully placed where it should be and, and uh, all the wires are mounted and connected. Now here's how it works now. We have the wire going to the door. It goes down here uh, underneath my rug. Then it goes over here to the wire junction box. Then it travels over there to the main unit. And also, obviously we got the rain sensor right there. Wire going down to the junction box going off to the main unit, and of course, this wire right here goes to the pressure pad. Now, if we step on the pressure pad right here, it activates the alarm right over here. And uh, Also, in the second video, I showed you that I connected up the light as well. Well, here, check this out, because the light actually does work. Here, I'll just... Uh, the light came on. So that works as well, no, well not only that, but of course the, the, if we open the door, then obviously that works as well. Now when I activate the alarm and leave the room, then it's going to trigger the alarm and same thing when I enter the room, and of course that's not supposed to happen because, you know, that's, it's, it's obviously my room, but, you know, it, we, we didn't, you know, we didn't go into more advanced stuff and more extra features to do that. You know, like, we, we could have possibly, like, maybe put a, stuck a, oh, we probably could have, like, possibly stuck, a, like, a wire or a switch down there at the bottom of the door, underneath my door, so I could, like, a little secret switch to deactivate the alarm uh, when I, if I need to enter the room or before exiting, you know, just, you know, of course, nobody would, have, would, would no one would know about it that way, so I enter the room safely, everybody else enters the room 
alarm goes off. But, you know, we'll, again, we'll, we'll probably save that advancements for, you know, like, we'll probably save it for, like, another video or sometime. We haven't tested the, uh, rain sensor, but next time it rains, I will probably do a follow-up video and let you know how that turns out. Well, I'm Elijah with DIY Electronics. Don't forget to subscribe. And also visit the DIY Electronics website at elijah737.wixsite.com, keyword DIY Electronics. Become a site member, subscribe for newsletters, because I'm going to be sending those out when they uh, when I get new when I uh, create new videos and projects and uh, there's lots of cool stuff you should probably check out there well thanks for watching and we'll see you next time